is about as good a time as any to start narrating this thing. This is the first powerhouse. We've got the spillway, the second powerhouse, and most recently built the third powerhouse. This is Sunday, June, what is it, May 28th, 1989. This is the premiere of Laser Fantasies light show at Grand Coulee Dam. system keeps track of uh, uh, laser power, laser, uh, laser current, other sorts of airlocks and safety features. Um, behind the, the smoke panel here is a color vector monitor that we'll be doing the digitizing on and also display of computer graphics and things for manipulation work of the computer. We have the Amiga monitor. The Amiga is the, the base graphics computer of, uh, of our system here and the, the main computer system of Laser Fantasy. CRT for the Amiga, the Amiga CPU, and the CPU for the PC clone is contained in the uh, in the Amiga 2000 housing here. Uh, there are a couple of rolling desks here. One is contained a digi digitizing tablet and the uh, pick knobs. This will be a little bit rearranged here for space and all to get settled. And the keyboard will also be on a rolling desk and mouse and such. Well, how does this work? This is the main panel. This is the startup for the entire system. Insert a key here. This is a, the first level of security for the system. Insert the key, turn it on, and it brings on this entire rack of information and the computers that control the system. This is a soft starting system, meaning the lasers and the water and the power to the lasers and, and several of those um, different things are started by the computer. So you send a signal to the computer, turn it with the laser system start switch, the computer turns on the water, uh, and the power of the booth and the lasers brings them all up to, to power until they're, um, until they're running. Starts the lasers and then keeps uh, an eye on them. We have three con parallel control consoles where we can control either the starting of the tape portion of the show or the computerized interactive portion of the show. We can select either one of those modes, either the pointer section or the show section, from either one of the three consoles. This being the first, the second being in the laser booth, out in the lobby of the DAC, and the third being out in the parking lot. Uh, in the third. We have various other controls in right? These are, these controls, the start step, the stop, the reverse and the forward, are used with both the show portion as well as the pointer portion of the program. That's like a slideshow, right? Right, like a slideshow. You step through graphics and images one at a time, uh, call it on cue by the uh, by the tour guide. Okay. We can set the program at the pointer section and step through each, each uh, slide or image or graphic sequence on the damn surface. Or when we set to the show section, we push start, starting the uh, digital audio tape, uh, playing back the taped portion of the program on this on this building surface. Thank you. We're now in the laser booth. Uh, part of the noise, noise is the water flowing to cool the lasers. These are four lasers here. They're coherent Inova 200s. Laser on your left, one, two, three, and four. One and two being Krypton lasers producing single line red light. And the two argons uh, closer to me producing blue and green light. The blue and green light and the red light are all added together in the front separated into their primary colors and then directed to each of the two scanning systems in front of the projector. The optics that do the actual mixing of the beads, color mixing and such, as well as the scanners, 
producing images and patterns are contained up here uh, in the optics housing. Also, as well as the power supplies that sit on top of the table and the optics, uh, excuse me, the laser tubes that sit on top of the table. Uh, below the table, we have the laser power supplies. There are four of them to match the four lasers. They take uh, the power that's incoming at 480 volts, three phase, and convert it into about 350 volts uh, DC to operate the lasers. The lasers operate at anywhere from 300 to 350 volts, the two at anywhere from about 10 amps to about 65 amps to current to produce uh, the real intense light. The uh, Kryptons are doing roughly 8 to 10 watts of red light a piece, and the two Argons are doing about 25 watts of blue and green light a piece. The other distinguishing feature of the laser booth is the control rack here. It's missing a few of the uh, covering panels and such, not as it will be in its final format. Uh, in the rack, we have the control electronics. Uh, we have the scanner, driver, amplifiers, special amplifier used for feedback scanners to draw the images. Uh, we have various power supplies and also acousto-optic modulator drivers. The acousto-optic modulators are used for modulating the intensity of the beam or the z-axis control of the beam inside of the optics box. Above, we have a control console that's used for maintenance of the system while you're maintaining and operating the system, cleaning, alignment, that sort of thing. An operator would operate from these controls. We have controls for X and Y. Uh, that would be the scanner positions on the output devices, as well as overrides for the various shutters and actuators and things inside the projector. As well as, uh, here again, we have a, a parallel control panel, which we covered earlier. Uh, we can start and stop uh, parts of the show for testing or test patterns or that sort of thing and a large emergency stop switch. We, to display the uh, optics inside the housing, we'll need to close the protective curtain on the, uh, on the inside of the booth before we open this. This is a safety interlock device so that during operation uh, and maintenance, if someone was to remove the cover, uh, special shutters would close, preventing light from exiting the lasers themselves and possibly being scattered out one of these windows unless the curtain is drawn. Once the safety curtain is drawn around the windows and interlocked, you can open the projector and emit laser light. We'll close the curtain at this time. 